Media and internet giant Naspers has responded to allegations and reports of misconduct on his part. The parent body of MultiChoice issued a statement after NCMP Eunice Karim alleged misconduct on their part. Karim alleges that Naspers chair, Chris Becker, pushed for dropping of encryption for set-top boxes when Karim was the communications minister. Karim has demanded a parliamentary probe into what he calls Becker's attempts to unduly influence policy matters. In its reply, Naspers says that the allegations are malicious and to force the platform to take aim in seven or fair. It, however, concedes that Becker did meet Eunice Karim in the presence of then Finance Minister Pravin Gordon. There are some highlights from the statement. Firstly, Naspers says there is persistent baiting for it to intervene in the affairs of multi choice. Some reports intend to apply pressure on Naspers to force multi choice to take AN7 off the air. The nature of a satellite platform is to provide most diverse voices for the public to choose from. It says it's not a wise decision to terminate a channel that participates in debate about the ANC succession barely two weeks before the elective conference. The Department of Communication must look into that. What exactly happened between multi-choice and SABC, multi-choice and ANN7? So what is the whole debate about encryption? International Communications Union Resolution demands South Africa to switch TV signals from analog to digital form. But millions of TV sets do not have a built-in device to convert digital broadcast signals or need to set up top of boxes. Now, as a per government policy, set top boxes will be provided to about 5 million lower income households on a fully subsidized basis. Key stakeholders debate whether subsidized set top boxes should have the capability to decipher encrypted digital broadcast signals. This has cost implications as set top boxes without dis uh, decryption capacity are cheaper. Now, because of the ongoing disagreements, SA failed to meet the June 2015 deadline for migration, the new deadline set at December 2018. And primarily, this is uh, as a result of the conflict around whether or not set top boxes should have. Uh, encryption or not be encrypted. And so we've seen any number of legal challenges that have gone ahead. Uh, we've participated in some of those, in fact, uh, and they only kind of got resolved at the, some way through this year. So I think that where we are now, to be honest, the encryption, non-encryption debate really has, uh, you know, it's past the sell-by date. We now need to look at alternative methods as to how we make sure that we can free up the spectrum uh, and make sure that everyone in South Africa can have access to a wide and diverse range of, of channels.